Hello everyone! Thanks so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to use comments in Canva, so let's get started. So of course you're going to need to have your design opened in order to place um, your comments. Once your design's opened in the Canva editor, you'll be able to see a button on the upper right side of your design page. So that is the comment button and that's what you want to click on. So once you click on it, a box will appear. So type in your comment over here. Apart from typing your comment, you can also mention someone so that a teammate or team member in Canva will be able to know that your comment's directed to them. So just place the at symbol and type in the name or email address of that Canva user. I'm just gonna delete that. But you can also click on the at button right over here. Clicking on it will give you a text box showing the names of your Canva team members. Apart from that, you also have the option that says assign to blah blah blah, so the name of the person you added. So if you tick this checkbox right over here, Canva will invite that specific person to this specific design and send them an email. Below that, right over here, you'll see a drop-down where you can see, once clicked, options to choose from. Whether that person you assigned this specific design to can either edit it or can just comment on it. So basically, this is where you can choose what kind of permission you like to give that specific person you're mentioning. So select one that suits your needs. Now we're just going to close that. Now let's talk about the next button and that is the emoji button. And this is pretty self-explanatory. If you want your comments to be more expressive by using emojis, then go for it. So if you click it, you can find lots of emojis right over here. Use the search bar right over here to get to your desired emojis in a much faster way. By the way, below this box, right over here on the bottom right, you'll see that you also have the option to change the skin tone of certain emojis. So if you click on that one, you have some choices here that you can pick. So select one you like. And finally, let's move on to the very last button, and that is the sticker button, which is this one. They don't have that many options, but the ones they do have available as stickers would be enough just for comments. So once you're done, you can then go ahead and click on comment right over here and your comment will be added. Once your comment's added, you'll be able to see that beside your design page. In case you want to edit your comment, just hover over the top right side of your comment box and you'll see two buttons. Click on the three dot button and from here, you'll have the options to edit, delete, or copy link. And by the way, if you're a Canva user, or if you're a team member who's also working on this design, you can react to comments by clicking on the add reaction button. That looks like a smiley face. And if you click on that, you can choose from different reactions. They've got preset ones here, but you can add even more reactions to that by clicking on this more reactions button. You'll be able to see that box with lots of emojis as again. 
So just choose whichever emoji you'd like to use to react to this certain comment. And now, once your comment's resolved, you can hover over the top right side of your comment box once again, and you can click on this check button or resolve comment button. And once you do that, your comment will be removed as it has been resolved. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about adding comments to your design right over here in Canva. This is a useful little tool, especially for teams collaborating or working together on a specific design so that all of you can achieve the results you're aiming for, not just for them, but it's important for group projects, even when it comes to designing or creating designs for your client. Through comments, they'll be able to give you some feedback and anything they'd like you to do or anything they'd like you to change on your design. So I'm going to be showing you how I created this design right over here. In case you want to see that, then stick around to see my process. And yeah. Hey there, guys. I'm just going to be creating a grand opening design card. So I'm going to go to custom size and create a 1080 by 1080 pixel design. Going to click on create new design. So we'll be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, so here we are. Um, okay, maybe I could try to look for some grand opening templates. Hit enter and find some really awesome grand opening templates here that I can use and modify. This one looks nice, um, as well as this one. And I also really like this one as well. So I'm just going to select which from the three I'd like to modify. I think this is a lot easier to modify. So if I were to choose, so I'm going to delete the others and I'm going to stick with this one instead. I'm going to just basically change the um, color of these elements over here. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to change the color of these to match um, colors of a certain cafe or cafe colors. Okay. So for grand, um, perhaps we're going to change, I'm going to remove the effect first and I'm going to try to see if we can find some font that would suit our design. Mm, okay, I'm not really good when it comes to selecting fonts, so perhaps I'll just, yeah, keep it that way and just change the co color of our element instead. So what about that? Okay, and for the opening, I'd like it to be like that. But I think it's difficult to see, so maybe we could just exchange the colors. Yeah, that looks nice. And I'm going to go to effects here and add a shadow to it. So I'd like our shadow to be darker. And I'd like to change its color to something like that. Okay, grand opening. And I think this is actually nice, but I don't like the 3D look of it. So I'm going to delete that and this one as well. I'm going to go to elements over here and look for a megaphone element. Go to graphics. And okay, maybe I have something in mind. What about coffee? Okay, this one looks nice. Perhaps we can add this one over here. And then maybe we can add some confetti, something like that. Or what about banner? But if we use banner, I think it's already too colorful. So care about this. So maybe we could change the colors. You know what? Maybe I could just... 
change this to white instead. Go to effects. Mm, okay, perhaps that should be fine. Grand opening. I'm just going to move this over here. And I'm going to place this over here, but tilt it. And I'd like to change the colors. I guess that should be fine. And I'd like to... Maybe we could try to fit some confetti if it's not going to be too overwhelming. But I think it already is. Anyway, I'm just going to try to change the color of the other elements over here. I'm just going to zoom in so that I'd be able to align these elements perfectly. Okay, and now I'd like to add just a few other design elements at the back. So, what about this one? Maybe we could use this one, but just change the colors up a bit. And three lines or splash. Okay, here it is. And resize it a bit, change its color to white. Okay, I guess that's it. It's very chaotic. Obviously, you can do so much better, but yeah, this is going to be our example for today. Anyway, that's it for today. We hope you found our video of Huff somehow, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing as well to see more Canva tutorial videos from us. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.